Good afternoon. I am Pastor Chris Hoppe from St. John Lutheran Church in Vacaville, California. It's my pleasure to bring to you the Word of God. As, as we look at a psalm a day, keep Satan away, and today we're up to the most famous of all psalms, and that is Psalm 23. A few years ago, I had the privilege of sharing the Word of God with my grandmother from both a pastoral standpoint and from a grandson standpoint. And as I was about to share the Word of God with her, I, sh I asked her, what would you like me to read? And she said my favorite passage, Psalm 23. And I read that psalm for her, and within a day or two, she was called home to eternal rest, to be with her Savior Jesus, to be with the Good Shepherd of the sheep. What a great and comforting psalm, Psalm 23 is for all of us, that, that we know that those who believe in the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for us will be in heaven with him someday. To know that my grandmother is alive with Christ, celebrating with all the saints, brings me the most comfort and joy that, that one could have. And that's the bedrock of our faith, knowing that, that God loved us so much that he sent his Jesus to suffer and die for us. King David, of course, was a shepherd, and he took care of sheep. And yet he knew that there was a far greater shepherd than himself. And the way he describes the shepherd and what he does for us is so picturesque and so beautiful that the words that, that David describe uh, pale in comparison to, to what Christ does for us you know, in, in all his glory and all his honor. Yeah, I'm just trying to say we can't put it into words how wonderful our good shepherd is and david does his best and it's it was so such a good psalm that it, it resonates with all of us today uh, probably the most famous psalm in all of christendom so i'm just going to read it and you'll probably know it by heart obviously the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters he restores my soul he guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As you read through that psalm, as you dwell on it, as you meditate on it, you, you hear this, this progression of thought that, that God, the good, the good Shepherd, leads us to these greener pastures in life. He gets us through the trials and the tribulations. Um, he does it for His name's sake, not for us, but to give Him glory in everything that we do, think, say, or do. It's all for Him, right? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, as, as, death, as we're on the brink of death, as we're at death's door, we fear no evil because we know the Good Shepherd is right there guiding us every step of the way. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We know that we have God's blessing each and every day, no matter what we're going through. And we know that we will be with him in heaven someday. And what a great comfort that is, no matter what you're going through in this life. And I'm, I'm sure glad that in that last day that uh, before my grand, grandmother was called to heaven that she shared with me, that was her favorite psalm. And had I not asked, I wouldn't have known. And what great comfort that gives me too as, as I read that psalm again and, and remember the great love of our Savior Jesus, that he was willing to lay down his life for me and to forgive all my sins. And what great comfort that gives me I hope it gives you comfort too. So I'd like to sing hymn 375, The King of Love My Shepherd Is. That goes a little high at some point, so I'll do the best I can. <clears throat> the King of Love My Shepherd Is Whose goodness fills me never I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. 
Where streams of living water flow, my Savior gently leads me. And where the verdant pastures grow, with food celestial feeds me. Confused and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill, with you, dear Lord, beside me, your rod and staff my comfort still, your cross before to guide me. You spread a table in my sight, a banquet here bestowing, your oil of welcome my delight, my cup is overflowing. And so through all the length of days, your goodness fails me never. Good shepherd, may I sing your praise within your house forever. It was a privilege and a joy for me to share that passage with my grandmother and to be able to share that with my family afterwards to give them the comfort, this comfort that I received too, that we will see her once again in glory. And we will see all our loved ones who have who've died in the faith, who believed in their Savior Jesus. We will see them again in glory. And what great comfort this gives us. The Lord is my shepherd.